What is going on, people? Thank you for joining me for another beer review. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And for this one, I have a very posh, tarty looking bottle because uh, it's wrapped up in paper. <laughs> Looks very posh, doesn't it? I picked this one up from Morrison's and this is a Belgium cherry fruit beer, which I don't really know what to make of. It doesn't sound like a bit of me at all. But you don't know unless you try, and I'm what for trying anything. I'll try anything once. I don't think I'm going to like this, but if you don't try it, you just don't know, do you? So, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this beer. It says on the front, Bacchus Kraken beer. Bacchus may be the brewery, I'm not sure. Uh, Kraken beer probably means fruit beer, but I don't know. Let me know if you uh, understand any Belgium. Uh, what that means it does say cherry beer on the front there very rad with a wrapper in it feels like christmas all over again as i say <coughs> so excuse me i'm still ill i'm trying to fight it as best i can but i am struggling so i may have to take a break for a while after this review because i'm actually getting worse um not better and i need to get myself down to doctors to get some antibiotics big time um <coughs> Anyway, it's 5.8% ABV, this one. Let's uh, undo the wrapper and see what it looks like underneath. <coughs> oh, dear. Okay, the what can I do is apologise, guys. We've got no label or nothing. This is a green bottle, but hopefully that uh, paper uh, wrapping would have protected it from the uh, sunlight. I've got just a plain red lid. I mean, after all that faffing about with the wrapper, they could have at least had a nice surprise in the middle. Not just a boring green bottle. Anyway, uh, let's crack her open, I suppose, and see what she's all about. Price point on this one was £3.50 in Morrison's. It is a 375ml bottle. And I think it was part of the 4 for 3 deal as well. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it loads of times. But it's just not quite took my fancy, you know. But I've always thought I will try it one day, and today's that day. Let's chuck it in the glass and uh, see what it looks like. Again, as I always say, let me know if you tried this one, guys, and let me know whether you liked it or not. Or, uh, and I'll let you know what I think. There we go. Beer in the glass. It looks like a glass of Coke. There's a little close up look of your beverage. Yeah, it looks. No, actually, it's red. It's like a ruby red when you look at it up to the light, but kind of reversed, it looked like a glass of Coke. It still does a bit, but it's definitely got like a ruby red tinge to it. And the head has definitely got a pink tinge to it. It looks like a rather girly looking beer, I must say. Um, I'm interested to see what it smells and tastes like. So let's check out the aromas of, what was it? Bacchus, whatever. I forgot, I was gonna to refer to the bottle, but then I remembered fuck on there is it right let's check out the aromas it smells like cherry drops you know them sweets cherry drops it smells quite sweet and packed full of cherries like a tarty sort of a cherry aroma it doesn't smell horrible it's, it's quite pleasant smelling that them cherries, but quite sweet. And I honestly can't smell nothing else apart from a load of cherries. Um, I don't think it's going to be my thing. I think it's going to be too sweet. But you never know. Let's chuck it down the neck and see whether I think it's worth a buy. 5.8% as well, remember. Well, cheers, everybody. Bosh! Don't know how to say cheers in Belgium. Let me know in the comments if you know. I think it's on me sign. Uh, no, it's not. Anyway, chuck that neck. It's not as bad as I was fearing. I took a very small little, <laughs> little sip there. Because I was thinking it was going to be crazy sweet. And to be honest, it is crazy sweet. But the cherries taste quite nice, I suppose. In a tarty sort of way. Um, quite 
quite light bodied medium feel to the carbonation doesn't really taste like a beer um, there's some kind of like wine like elements to this like red wine like elements with some very rich tarty like cherries um, with some subtle other notes uh, which I can't quite make out yet let's go again and there's like a a subtle hint of like a roasted malt in the background um, and it's very much needed because this is a very one dimensional beer for me with the cherries so just having that subtle roasted malt I believe to be roasted malt in the background and the slight breadiness as well to the malts is kind of rescuing it from being an absolute disaster and a complete al alco pop tasting bag of shit to be honest but yeah it's definitely the type of beer for me personally I could only have one of it's just far too sweet um, it's a dessert beer it's if you don't fancy a dessert um, but you fancy a beer this will replace your dessert for me this is definitely not something you want to session um, if you want to keep your teeth because I can almost feel my teeth rotting away as I'm drinking this drink it's extremely sweet it's packed full of sugar I would say It's definitely one for the lover of sweet beers which as you know if you're a follower of the channel I don't really like sweet beers if you like sweet beers don't take no notice of me I don't like sweet beers so I was probably never gonna love this I actually like it more than I thought I was going to like it which ain't really saying much because I thought I was probably gonna end up pouring it down the sink but I think I can just about drink it but the sweetness is building. That's a problem for me. And it's just a bit one dimensional. I think my girlfriend might like this actually. It does feel like a bit of a girl's beer without sort of being sexist or anything like that. I just feel like this is a sort of thing more suited to ladies, a bit like wine. You know, you do get guys that like wine, but in general, more females in it um score out of 10 it's difficult because this just isn't my thing um perhaps for the style it may be very good but it's very hard for me to judge um on a beer that it's just not a style that i appreciate there is actually a slight sourness to the cherries in this as well it's starting to come through yeah there's like a sour linger to the cherries so again a good thing because it's quite one dimensional so it, any of the little subtle extras make it a bit less boring it, I definitely wouldn't buy it again put it that way am I glad I tried it I am but me teeth ain't a score out of 10 I'm gonna go in with it's just too sweet man But it does taste quite nice. A five, a five. I mean, I wouldn't buy it again. It's drinkable, but it's too sweet. It's a one and done, bish bash bosh sort of thing. Um, yeah, let me know. Maybe you like it more than me, guys. Uh, all I can do is be honest and tell you my thoughts. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Smash the like button. And as I say, I don't know. I might have to take a little break because uh, I'm trying to put on a brave face, but I am actually suffering quite bad uh, with this sort of uh, cough thing that I've got going on. Um, uh, yeah I need to get some antibiotics before it turns into bloody pneumonia or something which I've, I've had before so yeah got to be a bit careful of it till the next one guys bye bye darlings oh, couldn't do another pitch one